Hey everybody, it's me RJ. I'm gonna show you today how to hang up your trimmers, maybe rakes and shelves, trimmers only. Trimmers, weed, weed eaters, whatever. I didn't make another thing, I should've. For under $5, $5, that's right. I should've been like, did you say $5? For only $5. Now you can have string trimmers every day. All right, so first thing you're gonna need. This is a little bigger one, you don't need this big. You could go smaller, I do like how it sits off the wall, good gap, but you could use the six by eights. These are like nine by 10 or something, or eight by 10. Can we tell them the measurement? Pause it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. 12 by 10, okay? So any of them that have a 10, because I put the 12 down, because 12 is just too far out, but the 10's about equal to my shelf, okay? So, 10 out. Nice piece of one. It's almost a two. It's a two by one, okay? This is what it is, a two by one, I believe. But it's not quite a two. But I think it's a two by one. It might be a one and a half by one, whatever. Any other piece of wood that's small you can use, okay? You need one, two, three, four, five, six long screws. I use two little ones because I don't want to poke out. It does poke out a little. But I'm, my fingers aren't going to be up there. I'll show you. My screws go under just a little. Okay. Can you? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Okay. So this is a used piece of wood I had. This actually came out of a piece of furniture that we cut up and broke down. I save wood like that and stuff all the time. People are like, mm, why you do that? Because you always need it like this. Show them my hair. I'm breaking down a piano. Video. That piano wood is going somewhere. Some's going trash, but some's usable. I was actually going to abuse one of those. See, it has to show them. My first idea, I was going to hang this shelf and use this lip to hold them, but I don't think it would have. But that would be good for a regular shelf. The lips that went under there to hang stuff. Like, I might replace some of this shelving with that, and that'll look nicer because it's finished. There's just some cheap plywood that was, that was painted and halfway used. Okay? Anyway, these are usually less than $2 a piece. And if you go to the 6x8, which would work, and use the 8 side... Those are under a dollar at Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, everywhere, okay? Online, they're a little more expensive. For whatever reason, on Amazon, they're more. You can still get them pretty cheap, but they're more. So one, two, bam. And then I got, what, two feet of board here? 28 inches. You could go a little longer if you wanted to and put a bracket in the middle for support if you went bigger. What I'm going to actually do is I got six of them I need to hang. I'm going to raise this up, I think, just to the few inches extra I can get. And then we're going to put a bracket right here. And then we're going to hang one, two, three in between. And I'm going to cut this shelf off. But look at that. These screws I already have. You should probably, if you, you may not have screws. You might have to go buy them. That's going to cost you more than five bucks. But you should always have screws on. I have tons of screws. Because I really like to screw it. Likes to screw it, screw it. I likes to screw it. So there you go. And you're like, oh, blah, blah. look. It's sturdy. That's three trimmers. I think they're... 10 to 12 pounds each, depending on the brand. The stills weigh the most. Tanaka's like nine, I think, like 9.7 or 9.8, not with gas. The Red Max is 10.7 or something. So look, I got 30 pounds here, right? I'm tugging, I'm actually tugging. Can you see my muscles? I'm not gonna tug so hard I break it. If I'm 215 pounds, a little bit of beef. If I wanna grab this thing and snap it, I'm gonna snap it. I'll rip it right off the wall. Or break it in half. Okay? She's like, Rah! then I'll be angry. And then you won't like me when I'm angry. So look, hear it? I mean it's you don't wanna slam them down, but it's holding. I mean it's holding good. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Look. Watch. See it didn't go up at all really. It's not a lot of look. It shakes a little just because through them, but they hold. Like I said, if you can go the shorter ones, I think you'll be better off because the angle will be less. So the wood won't be as far out here before touching. So you'll be here, it'll be stronger. I could be wrong. But under $5, new shelf, hung your garage. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? It's just so beautiful. If I could have Kylie come in here and finish the beautiful, I would, but she's not here. It's so beautiful. So sweet. I don't have a lot of room for sh sh things in my garage. I might put it over here. Y'all don't know who I am. Anyway, I don't have a lot of space. I think I'm gonna come over here. If y'all been watching, I got some new 
tools and stuff. Okay. Are they going to pull in this one? And I might hang two here. I don't know. Um, I'm getting another new shelf here, like the one I built, if you watched, right there. And we're going to move some of that onto it, and we're going to pick all this up. I might be able to cut these shelves down an extra two feet or something. Like, and if that works, I might be able to cut them here and come over with trimmers longer and then be good. All right? So I hope this idea helps you. It's cheap. It's easy. It doesn't look great, but I mean, it doesn't look horrible. Does it to you? They feel like your garage functional. Is it's, it's a garage. All that matters. If you're really Nancy on polishing, and then you may not like it, but it's functional. This would be good, but this bracket I've had for years. It was sitting there rusting, but that one's clean. So you can get some clean ones. You can get white, black, gray. I think they even have stainless. If you're really weird you about it, you can paint the piece of wood. You can paint the wood. There you go. <laughs> but it looks good, right? It's a good piece of wood. It's clean. It's good. I mean, it looks way better than the shelf. That one ain't bad. See, that's not as warped either because it's better. If I put a bracket there, it'd be less warped. You can already see. But look at this bad But you know what? I just like the... I feel like I'm riding a, riding a wave when I get on that shelf. All right, so... Yeah. And that shelf's a little big. I should have had all long brackets. I only have one. That's it. I'm rambling. $5. New shelf. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Every little bit helps during these times. I'm going to put some links below to brackets just like these on Amazon. They may be more than the price I said. I don't know. Because for some reason, Amazon's starting to go up there in their price the past year. Their stuff's starting to, they used to be the cheapest. And now like, I'm a super mega billionaire trillionaire. I'm just going to raise the price because screw y'all. I'm Jeff Bezos. And you ain't nothing. I'm guessing that's what he thinks. He's probably like, mm-mm. Shh, I can ramble. They like how I ramble. That's it. I probably shouldn't be hating on Bezos. Giving him that money for this. Links. Alright. So that's it. <laughs> Shush! As always, I'm RJ. Seize the day each and every day. Bye-bye.